So you can really hear in there the modulation popping up. That modulation begins right there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in full media. Part 34, C change. In today's stream, in today's episode, we set out to begin adjusting the energy chart of what we are calling now cycle one. So we listen to the ramps, whole, uh, ramps, ramps, hops, and rolls, which are these upper lines over here, and began to add energy scores for modulating them, as we just heard. And we did that by using our line diagram. And here you can see, instead of a root of D flat, we went up to a D. That corresponds to here, minor figure O2, just like that. That added energy. Uh, at minor figure three, we added four half steps and that added energy there. And we were being guided the whole time by looking at our energy diagram, this thing. And now we have something that looks kind of cool. It looks like three uh, peaks in a mountain. And to see how, how much of a difference the modulation made, if we, if we zero out the modulation, that's what our energy diagram looks like. It looks pretty flat. And then it has kind of a peak in the middle, and then it's pretty flat. But when we put the effects of modulation in there, we get nice rises and falls in energy that make it more interesting and keep keep our aural attention engaged. And, and even though 60 seconds is a good sweet spot for an overall length of a material, really 60 seconds of monotony is boring, so we're really kind of clumping it into 20 second, 20 second, 20 second intervals there, roughly. It's more like 24, 10, 24, but you get the idea. So we did all that. We, we also made other uh, changes here as we did in the last stream. This is where we uh, boosted or in some case dropped the, the loudness. To further fine tune this, you can see the effect of, of that by doing this. It kind of kicks the thing higher up overall, but there are some subtle differences. And, and that again, this is the reason we use this, because if we take out the effect of modulation, and if everything was looking really flat, and then we take out the effect of dynamic changes, well, it's still pretty flat, but that, that kind of stands out a little bit. So if you recall, we started by tuning the dynamics, and then we went back, and today we added the modulation. And we think it looks pretty cool. We like the shape of that diagram, and we like how it hears as well. So after we did all that, we said, gosh, um, it sounds good. We like it. Um, we feel like it's complete as a score. What about beginning a new animation? So we did that. We started downloading, uh, exporting files from the score here, uh, of which you remember we have many, 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 many files. And we, we put the uncommon minor, common, uncommon major, backbone, passing chords, pulse. There's a left pulse, center pulse, and right pulse. Those have all been put into here into a new file for us to work with. And this is as far as we've gotten. We have got the uh, pulses are making those little white trails at the bottom, and the squares are the, uh, the, the, the rolls and figures. So what we're gonna do is we'll play the animation as is, and then we'll take us out of the, uh, take us home.
We also added that dum bum bum ending, which helped a lot to make it feel more complete. So the uh, the red squares are being driven by uh, straight volume of the minor, full, and major, and the little trailing squares are being driven by the pulse. And here we selected kind of the high end of the frequency, so it, it, it's giving that nice wispy smoke trail effect. And then here we just went through the raw volume because we the color is hard to see, so you just need to see the flickering to say, oh, that's that's where the busyness is occurring. So that concludes today's episode. As we said, our ideas for next time are continue working with the new animation. Um, for example, we might uh, add the, uh, the backbone and passing chords. Add two more things there. Um, also, we've been collecting our ideas for what we would call cycle two or restructuring, and that just keeps accumulating, and we haven't got to it yet. We seem to be having a lot of fun here with this animation. So thank you for your time and attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Do come back. And as always... Keep on streaming.